if you had changed the fuse several days ago when I asked you the first 10 times, I might be a little more sympathetic. You're only doing it now because you want the outlet to work so you can plug in your toaster and make toast. In case you didn't notice, I'm mad at you. Well, you appear to be your normal cheery self. You posted on Facebook about our potluck tomorrow, and you take everyone in the office. Except me! And you know how much I love potlucks! It smells funny in here. Have you been eating those candies? No, dear. Because you know how they make you gassy. Martha, please. Remember that time you ate that chocolate bunny? I had to sleep in the guest bedroom for nearly a week. And still, the smell kept me up at night. Yes, Martha. I do recall four or five nights of you not kicking me as I tried to sleep. I do not kick in my sleep. Maybe you don't, but your feet do. I'm running, Arthur. Running away from something. You know that. Don't get snarky with me. I'm not the idiot who got himself stuck in a closet changing a fuse. Find a way to help me. Suck in your gut. Why? I want to see how much wiggle room there is between your gut and the door frame. You said that's how you got in. Maybe it'll help you get out. Alright, so there's about half an inch to an inch of space when you suck it in. Suck it in as much as you can. I'll pull on your arm and we'll try to get you out. Right? Ready? <sighs> okay. Suck it in again and this time push off on the wall while I pull. 